This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. The season's been one where you've as a tight end group, you guys have emerged and you particularly have emerged as in a passing attack and something that um, you guys were very hopeful about at the beginning of the season was tight ends being involved. How much are you guys relishing this opportunity to be more involved in the passing attack? I mean, I think it's great for everybody. I mean, we sat there and we talked about it. And now that we get our plays, I mean, you have to come when the, when the play gets called and uh, and your number gets called, you got to make a play. And I think that's one thing that um, being an older guy, I try to tell those younger guys and just the guys in general, um, you know, we're not going to get that many opportunities. Uh, we have a lot of other assignments blocking, you know, going out on passes, you know, other stuff like that. But um, it's been good. You know, we have a lot of fun in that room. And, you know, I think the one of the best things about it is, is no one's selfish. Like, I mean, one guy gets out on the field and all the tight ends are sitting at the edge of the sideline, like cheering them on and, you know, excited for whenever they make a play. And I think that just pushes us, all of us to like, all right, when we get in, all right, it's, it's our turn. It's my time to, to make something happen. You and I have talked in years past about how much you've had to work on your pass catching ability using tennis balls uh, and a lot of off season drill to focus on how quick your reaction speed and being able to sure handed and the two catches you had against BYU pretty remarkable catches one uh, falling backward into the end zone and then one running the second one running across the field and catching it over the shoulder how much has your pass catching ability improved uh, throughout the throughout your years here I think one of the things is just working on it um, you know I came in as a smaller guy um, and I had to you know get bigger and then you know I kind of got lost in the translation where I wasn't really going out on routes as much uh, you know, playing special teams and then blocking a lot uh, my redshirt sophomore year. Um, and I, I think I just came to a point where I was like, you know, I, I want to catch passes. I want to do that stuff. And obviously the coaches won't trust you if you don't put in the work. And, you know, sometimes they don't see the extra stuff that, uh, that I do. But I think one of the things is, is, you know, talking to the coaches and saying, hey, what can I get better at? What can I do better on route running, you know, catching? Got any drills for me? And, uh, you know, one of the funniest things is <laughs> my uh, my Gramps was, you know, he comes to all my games. He's only missed one game, any sport I've ever played since I was six years old. So he was there. And uh, it's funny because every time I go to his house, we used to practice catching. And I would do toe tap drill and, you know, try to get two feet in, get one foot in. And um, he came up to me and he was like, I guess all those times we've been catching paid off. And, you know, I'd never had that opportunity in my 23 years I've been alive and sure enough all that practice came to fruition. <laughs> you look on that special moment and through your culmination dating back to Cave Spring through your five years here you've been dealt with a lot of injuries and had to overcome a lot. How much ha are you relishing this opportunity this year through all the injuries and everything you've had to endure and even in this past spring with the foot to be in a position you're at right now? I think it's just like you know a relief like you know finally catching a break um, you know I, I like you said I have been injured a lot and I feel like I've fought through a bunch of it and you know I'm sure there's stuff that, uh, that you don't know that has happened since I've been here but you know it's it's fun to wake up and you know I not have to worry about you know something hurting all the time you know something being wrong all the time and um, I think one of the things is when I wake up is like I'm, I'm thankful and I'm happy and you know give all the glory to God and I think if you know you know my story from back in and people who know my story know that I wouldn't be here without God and you know there's a lot of things that have worked throughout my life that I've never understood and so when something like this happens where I've had a, a full healthy season what it feels like um, you know I just I just sit here and smile because you know I'm just thankful because you know it's my last year and I want to go out with a bang and I feel like I've been just pushing everything you know putting everything into this last season you know especially for for these guys you know the incident in the spring, I guess, over at the construction site at the high school. And uh, what was the process like of getting reinstated back on the team after being suspended and making sure you're in the coaches, coaching staff's trust and, you know, get through all the legal issues? Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was a long process, or at least it felt like to me. Um, and I understood the decision, you know, I, I, there was no debating it. You know, I, I was, you know, I did something wrong and obviously I had to make amends for that. And there was stuff I did, you know, with Dr. Gomes and, you know, weekly check-ins with the coaches and um, for a coaching staff to just come in and for, you know, for me to have something where it breaks their trust, so to speak, 
um, kind of puts them on their heels and, you know, they're kind of like, oh, well, I don't know if I should, you know, trust him here. And I think one of the biggest things was just the communication between the coaches. And, you know, eventually I stayed in touch and got work, work stuff out. You know, I was still working out and staying in shape because, you know, I wasn't going to give up on it. Um, and I understood that there was going to be some stuff I had to do. And, again, you know, I'm so thankful for this coaching staff because, you um, Again, they could have easily just kicked me to the curb and just said, you know what, we're not going to deal with it. It's, it, you know, there's no use. Um, and I think they had that that trust in me before before I even had the chance to. And I think that just reaffirmed, you know, me being like, all right, I know this is the right place, and I know I want to do this. And they just kind of confirmed that for me. Has this season been a confirmation for you of how much you had to work to earn their trust and then you're seeing it on the field now with how much they're trusting you in certain situations oh yeah I mean <laughs> I mean we, we you know we always talk about in tight ends room like oh you know they should give us the ball more and you know and uh, I understand you know being selfish you know you want the ball you want to make plays and um, I think when they put that trust in me off the field um, I think it translated on the field because I, you know, it was a new offense for me, but I picked it up pretty quick. But you know, as things happen, and obviously, like I wasn't where I wanted to be at that point in time, and so I just kind of put my head down and just kept working. And I think they saw that, and they're like, "All right, this is the kind of guy he is." Like I think we just, you know, fluke, fluke, fluke deal. And um, <laughs> I mean, when they put your trust on off the field, and I trust, I trusted those coaches, and it was a mutual trust. And there was that love, you know, with, with Coach Agamoa and Coach Freeze. And so when they put me in those spots on the field and they put a lot of trust in me to make those plays, you know, I, I don't really think anything of it because, you know, I feel like it's a mutual thing. They trust me to do my job and they're they're going to like, all right, you go make a play and let's see what you got. And I feel like, you know, to have those opportunities, it feels good because I feel like, you know, I want to have those opportunities. I want to make those big plays. You know, everyone dreams about being on Sports Center and doing, making those nice, those great catches and stuff. And uh, I mean, you know, I, I, was, I just get speechless sometimes because you know, sometimes it just feels like it's, not, it's just a dream. You know, from where I was at six months ago to now, I mean, it's crazy.